right now I'm going to be reviewing Clock Tower 2 for the PlayStation 2, or Clock Tower 3 for the PlayStation 2. I'm playing on the PlayStation 3, that was the mix-up. Now, here is the casing. You can take a look there. Um, now, this is a survival horror game, along the lines of games such as, say, the Silent Hill or the Resident Evil series. More like Silent Hill because it's more atmospheric. Now, this is an M-rated game, so there's not too much I can show you in this preview, but I'm going to start with the game so you can get an example of at least how the few seconds, uh, you know, like the first 30 or so seconds go in the game. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is less action-based, so less like Resident Evil, and more like the Silent Hill series, where it's slower paced and all that sort of thing. Now, Clock Tower 1 and 2 were considered pretty good survival horror games, but not, you know, not top-of-the-line kind of things. There were a few problems with them. Um, nothing major, just they were kind of mediocre. 3 is taking it up a notch, and while it's still not in the top tier of survival horror games, it's a lot more fun than the previous ones, and I've got a feeling that Clock Tower 4, if they make it, could be really something else. <sighs> now, so yeah, it starts off in this little CG sequence, eventually you'll get through and start up a slow part of the game. Now, that said, um, Clock Tower 3 could be better, but it's a big improvement, and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5.